What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Currency Comps where I cover all things money. In today's video, I'm gonna cover a personal loan product that requires no minimum credit score in order to be approved. And you can borrow 500 up to $5,000. Let's get right into it. All right, so the product we're talking about today is called Rise and you can find them at risecredit.com. So right here, when we arrive at their landing page, it says you can borrow 500 up to $2,000, but in certain states, you can borrow up to 5,000. We'll get more into that in a second. So how does Rise Credit work? Well, Rise Credit requires no minimum credit score in order to be approved. The way you are gonna be approved is by your employment status and your banking history. And since they don't go off your credit score, if you do get approved, that APR is gonna be pretty high, anywhere from 36 to 299%. Rise Credit is a direct lender in Florida, Oregon, and Texas. All other loans will be partnered and funded by Finwise Bank, the same bank that funds Op Loans, Empower, and Upstart. A few of the silver linings, I guess you can call it, of this loan is that they require no origination fee. A lot of these payday loans have an origination fee of 1% all the way up to 10% in some cases. Another one is you can check to see if you qualify without an actual application. You enter your personal information right here, you enter your name, email address, address and the state that you're in and you can check to see your rate before they actually do a hard pull on your credit. So the way it works is once you go to the landing page, you're going to enter your personal information. Once you go to get started, it's going to drop you to another page where you're going to enter your SSN and your DOB. Remember, they're not going to run an initial hard pull on your credit. The reason they're asking for your SSN and your DOB is because they need to verify your identity. Now, once you do accept terms, they will run a hard pull on your credit. The minimum requirements in order to qualify is you need to be at least 18 years of age, have a regular source of income, AKA a J-O-B and an active checking account. If you do get approved, you can receive your funds as early as the next business day. So another plus when taking out a rise loan is that within five days if you want to cancel the loan or return the loan you can do that with no interest let's say you need the money real quick in order to catch up on payments from one paycheck to the next within that five days you say you know what i don't need this loan anymore you can return the money cancel the loan without being charged any interest another thing you can do is refinance at a certain point in your loan meaning let's say you have a thousand dollar loan you paid five hundred dollars on that loan and your payment is three hundred dollars you can refinance that loan to lower your payment, but that's going to set your loan term back. And you're also going to be paying more interest on that refinance. You can also cash out refi, which means same thing. You have a thousand dollar loan. You paid 500. Now you're in the middle of your loan term. You can take out another 500. So they're going to add more time to your loan plus interest. So the refi, think twice about doing that because that can put you in a real tight spot. All right. So let's check out a loan example here. So if you're in the state of Arizona, you can borrow 500 to $5,000 with a repayment term of seven to 26 months and the APR ranging from 99% to 149%. So if you borrow a thousand dollars and the APR is 148%, let's just call it 150. Your bi-weekly payments are going to be 22 payments. The amount you're going to pay is $81. But what it doesn't tell you is how much you're actually going to be paying back. So let's do the math right here. So 81 times 22. So you're going to pay back $1,782. So you paid seven hundred and eighty two dollars in interest on a thousand dollar loan how about that all right i'm curious about the three thousand dollar loan so we have 148 percent interest the same thing so we have 42 payments at 190 dollars a payment wow I don't even think you're ready for this. Do you really wanna know how much you'd be paying in interest on a $3,000 loan? $4,980 in interest, wow. So Rise Credit might be a good option for somebody that needs to borrow quick cash that can't get a loan otherwise. But if you do have options, consider them because this is an expensive way of borrowing money. I hope this video helped you out. I wanna thank you for watching. Check you on the next one.